All right, to other news now, a heavy police presence remains at a private Jewish school for girls in North York. This after shots were fired in the area over the weekend. Erica Natividad joining us now from Base Hayamushka Elementary School. Erica, there was a big show of support from the community this morning. What's the latest? Right, so Melanie and Faiza, uh, politicians, community leaders gathering here uh, this morning to show support for the community, as you mentioned, because the school does remain open following that shooting over the weekend. So here's what we know about what happened exactly. Toronto police say video shows uh, two suspects pulled up in a vehicle. They then uh, opened fire uh, at the school from outside of the gates here and then got into the vehicle and fled. No injuries, thankfully, have been reported, though, though those two suspects are still uh, being sought by police. Uh, it's the Guns and Gangs Unit as well as uh, the Hate Crimes Unit who are investigating this case here. Uh, here's more from Mayor Olivia Chow, who was here this morning. Anti-Semitism is like cancer. We have to say no. It erodes the bonds of empathy and compassion between people. It signals a decay of a society into hate and insult, and it absolutely have no place in Toronto. And we say to this coward, these cowards, we will find you. You will be held responsible. The education minister, Stephen Lecce, was also here this morning, as well as uh, Councillor Michael Ford. So Toronto police say they are increasing their presence around uh, Jewish education centres, as well as synagogues today. And also York Regional Police, in a response uh, to this incident, say they are also are increasing their presence around uh, those centres and synagogues as well. An absolutely disturbing story. That's our Erica Natividad reporting. Appreciate that.